Hello, this is Joyce Chow for MB Anna News Video Web. We're here at Consumer Product Events, and we're finding all the wedding gear. And Delana knows how to have the life of Riley, and she can share it with you, can't you? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> well, thank you for that intro. <laughs> well, Life of Riley is a publishing house that focuses on aphrodisiac and foods that enhance the libido. We could all use more of that. <laughs> Couldn't we though? <laughs> it's perfect for a wedding events such as this one because we just came out with our book, The Love Diet, where Amy Riley and Juan Carlos Cruz, and Amy Riley is the creator of Life of Riley, they came together to make light, healthy meals that couples can make together, feed each other, build together. So, very easy, simple recipes, very good for your health. Okay, can you give us a few examples then? Well, absolutely. Actually, right here we have our chocolate cake. That is shown on the back of the book. Ooh. Yes, light and healthy, vegan, delicious. It's even vegan? Mm-hmm. Wow. And then here we have our walnut blue cheese brittle. I already had some. It's really good. Isn't it? Is that vegan too? <laughs> it, <laughs> very healthy. It has a spot of milk, but just a little bit. Okay. It's probably organic though. It yeah. is organic. It's very healthy. Everything is low calorie. Things that are aphrodisiac really are good for you cardiovascularly. This is good because no, that's where the diet part comes in. It is, but it's not. I, I didn't know. Like, if you had an aphrodisiac, I thought it would be like all the foods you absolutely love that have lots of calories and were bad for you. Like what? Like cupcakes. Oh, <laughs> well, you have cupcakes there. They don't have to be bad for you. It just depends which ingredients you choose. You can definitely replace things and make them lighter and healthier for yourself. So what's your favorite one in here? Oh, man. Recipe. Come on. I really am a big fan of the blue cheese brittle. But there's also a good meatball recipe in there that's a vegan meatball. Superb. Also have a lot of little appetizers like an edamame dip, which is delicious kids love it they'll eat their vegetables and they won't even care <laughs> so that's always excellent especially for those finicky male eaters or female eaters who don't necessarily like green things it's very good for you besides a love diet i also see you have a couple of other books they say fork me spoon me uh-huh we have a, a fork me spoony we have a naughty version and the not so naughty version uh -huh. and this consists of 12 specific ingredients we show you exactly why they are aphrodisiac, what about them, the myth, the real story behind it. And then we give you a few recipes that are very easy just to put together, even for the amateur cook. So it's a good party favor. It's great for the new hostess. And of course, if you are a bride or you're getting something for a bride, uh -huh. or maybe for the bridesmaids, you probably need all three of them in a gift package. It wouldn't hurt, you know? <laughs> Actually, we have had some people receive these gifts with 12 of the ingredients, you know, all 12 of the ingredients in a nice gift That's basket. a great shower present or wedding present. Mm -hmm. It's also a good hint. Uh -huh. <laughs> and if people would like to find out more information on the internet, where's the best place to go? Oh, well, definitely. Life of Riley, that's R-E-I-L-E-Y dot com. Or we have Eat Something Sexy, which is our online magazine. Are you ready? <laughs> totally ready. Absolutely. Ready and willing. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you.